also want to know how you can do vertical training for Fortnite and show your inventory and your health and your eliminations and how many players left all on the same screen with your gameplay and face cam? That's what I'll be showing you guys in today's video, so stick around and watch till the end. And make sure to subscribe. Okay, so for the first part, this is the game recording right here. So all you gotta do is click to unadd a new source, do a screen capture, click add source, click add new source instead if you already have any already going, name it something random, then you can click on Fortnite, done. And then as you can see, now I have a Fortnite recording. Uh, since I do have Fortnite open, and that is going, that can be going on my streamlabs. I already have it, so I'm just gonna delete that. But how you get the inventory, health, and other stuff like that? All you gotta do, do those exact same steps: add source, screen capture, add new source, random, click on Fortnite, done. And then all you gotta do, find your inventory. As you can see, I'm pointing to my inventory with my mouse right now. So I'm just gonna hold Alt and then drag this in. You cannot drag diagonally, you can drag diagonally for sizing, but not for cropping. So just hold Alt on here, Alt, and then I can just crop it down to my inventory. Then I can make it a little bit bigger so that I can do some smaller changes like this. And then diagonally I will size it down and put it like right here. Then you want to do the same thing except for with your health bar and crop it down for your health bar. Remember, just add source, screen capture, add source, new source, and then I can name it like health. You don't have to name it randomly, you can just name it health bar or so like that. Add source, Fortnite, done. Personally, I, I like to scale it up just to make it a little bit easier to resize. Alt, bring it in, Alt, bring it in, and then we can just crop it from there. And then once again, you can upscale it a little bit so that you can do some more smaller details. Then once you have that, size it back down and move it to the health bar section. If you want to record your webcam also along with your game, just add new source, video capture device, add source, new source, if you already have one, you can name it webcam, random stuff, add source. As you can see, I have a couple different ones, but just change it to whatever webcam you want, like I could do HD webcam here, and then you could do close, and then we can just size it down to where we want it on the screen. Like as I'm doing right now, like if I want it at the bottom or at the top. But since I already have this really high quality GoPro footage right here, then I will just keep that up there. And if you want to add text for like your top donations or recent subscribers, like as you can see I have W Huxvex because he gifted because he was my top donor and gifting me the battle pass. All you gotta do, add source, go over to general, text GDI plus, add source, then you can add a new source since I already have one. Let, let's say top dono and then we can put sam so let's say sam was our top dono and he really supported the stream all you gotta do is put you can type it in right here top dono sam font size i can change the font as you can see i have coming get access which is the mr beast font installed this is the font size you can change the color and over other stuff like this then once again just resize it and put on wherever part of the screen you want. And that's pretty much all you need to make a really successful vertical live stream. Pretty cool! Make sure to subscribe.